I'm not sure how. Maybe they got to the Carter. The Canari can't be mining their own lyrium. It kills anyone who tries, other than dwarves. It killed the Canari at first. But Canari workers have a discipline only Tranquil can match. And they're quick learners. They figured it out. They figured it out. Where are we? Why are there elven mirrors in the deep roads? This place is close to something like a lyrium spring. The more we mine, the more there seems to be. As for the mirrors, I don't Maybe know. Maybe we're by the Titan Maybe heart? the elves were mining here too. That's not seriously the name of the plan, is it? Dragon's Breath? You know that most Dragon's Breath destroys everything in its path, right? She said it would save the South. I've killed like 10 dragons. That can mean only one thing. An invasion. This mine is the only source of lyrium the Canari have. They're using Gatlock, the explosive powder in the round casks, to mine, so they don't have to touch raw lyrium. If you get the primers from Central Supply, you can prime the Gatlock and detonate it. <laughs> the mines will go up in flames. They're mining the stuff by blowing it up? Even if I succeed, Will that really stop the Vitisala? It would be a start. Deep stalkers and cavins will cut off reinforcements, but they'll still come when they hear trouble. You've got to find the Vitisala to end this war before it begins. There's no telling how bad things will get when I destroy the mine. You better get moving. I will. Good luck, Inquisitor. Let's go. We have a lyrium mine to ruin. <laughs> Supply cache, I'm full potions. Oh my. You need bees. <laughs> I do. We saw the canary make oh. things explode. Maybe we can use them to get out of here. Why is it so dark? Don't dwarven rooms usually glow with lyrium or lava or whatever's running through the walls? Low with lava. Oh, Cass, are you good? Cheese provides. The Gatlock blew up with her right next to it. One Kunari invasion. I was really hoping I'd never see another. <laughs> There's one of the mining 
side more. Now we just need primers. I've got a uh, skill that anyone that I put an energy shield on, uh, their stamina and mana regenerate faster. So that's why I'm using the shield even when people aren't in danger of dying. That doesn't sound good. Uh, I guess I go across this little ledge over here. My main question for you, Monk, is how have you just not gotten sick or something for 1,973 days? Oh, that's that's my secret. Uh, I have. Dude, I I actually got COVID. That was dude, that was awful. Streaming when I had COVID, that sucked so bad. So there was some days I did a stream for like one hour, and it was just like you know, it still counts. And then you know, I was like, is it like an ASMR stream? It's like welcome everyone to my stream. Yeah, so there's been a couple of times I did, like, a, a stream under the weather just to keep the streak going. In, get primers, blow this mining operation sky high. Sounds like fun. Uh, Tor Notebook of Deep Road Section 2. Many of these pages are filled with sketches of elven statues matching the ones found in the area, along with notes and what look like attempts to practice Kunlat. They say the agents of Fenharel caused the trouble in the crossroads. I wish I knew. I wish whoever fights in the name of the old wolf was around to fight when the Darkspawn took my clan. Not to mention, uh, mine to not, uh, mine is not to question. I have chosen the Kune. The Kune will protect me. Rethost, you all protect. Rethadim, they all protect. Rethsarim, we all protect. These statues are older than anything I saw in my days with the clan. The area is dwarven, though. What were the ancient elves doing down here? Mining? Where were the dwarves? Easier to have them mine it. Not a trading post. You don't go to, into a friend's home, knock over their gods, and put up your own. War? I don't remember any legends about our people fighting the dwarves, though I remember my keeper telling a story about how the dwarves fear the sun because of Elgar Elgarnon's fire. A metaphor for the elves of Arlathan driving the dwarves underground? The Kunari like metaphors. I should share that. That certainly looks like a good spot for an explosion. Um, hang on. It says I need fire or electric damage, but targeting these things is the hard part. Gotta take something off the bar. I guess that for now. Uh, are these the ones that need the primers? Hmm. It's not even going on cooldown. I don't even know if it's counting. Weird. Maybe those are the ones that need the primers. There's a big fella up ahead. We're almost there. Just 
Just to try it. Nope, didn't work. Goodness, these have a lot of health. He only takes one damage from Spirit Blade. What was that? He just did Meteor Strike. Calm down, Doomfist. Communicate in the deep roads. Half of this message is written in an unfamiliar alphabet, probably Kun La. The rest is common and carefully lettered by someone who is clearly struggling with the language. Vidathari Kid. The boss disruption of the Atashi Asara must be ended at once. Hara decreases with each. This line is crossed out. The dragon's breath must be complete. Locate and eliminate boss Hisra. This is also crossed out. Eliminate agents of Fenharil. Time runs out. Boss Hisra. Was that what they called Iron Bull after they branded him a traitor? Are these the primers? You've got the primers. Let's go explode some Gatlock. So now if I do this, does it work? It needed a primer, Jeff. Oh, wait, we're under attack. I was like, why did Sarah's health just go down? I think I can spirit blade. Oh yeah, the agent works. The assassins are immune to spirit for whatever reason.
Boom. Two more. That one might have spawned some stuff. Shot Garant incoming. <laughs> I was trying to knock that guy off the cliff. Invisible boom. That's it. Let's get out of here and warn the others about this dragon's breath plan. Good. Let's move before this place fills entirely with water. My party's just like dying behind me. Is there a range limit on this? Nope. Ow. Catch it? Yeah, he got up. Okay, good. That long range revive, though. Um. Oh my god. Light! Orders. Elf Iskari. Our Templar brother is in need of re-education. He must be located and returned at once. That's the one that talked to me and told me about the plan. Why are dwarves so short but guard their tunnels so tall? Yes. Why do people make their houses slightly bigger than themselves? It's a mystery. All right. Fair play, Varric. Fair play. <laughs> Is it killing Kunari together such a romantic outing? You, you ruined my fan fiction. You stop talking. Poor man. Didn't make it far. Wait, what? Poor man. Oh, is this the guy that told us about the plan? So I guess we told him to run for it and he didn't make it out. Who gets to tell Cullen and Josephine we're probably at war with the Q? Anyone? As if. <sighs> <laughs> A 
And do I have to go back through all those mirrors, or is it going to just warp me back to the palace? I feel like we should bring, like, come back into the palace dragging a dead Kudari so they believe me. But what does it mean? Who knows? Kunari agents moving through Alluvians to attack the South is bad enough already. I still do not understand why they accused the Inquisition of serving Fenerel. We know that Mithal actually exists. It's possible Fen Harel is still here in some form, too. What you describe in the ruins certainly implies that the Dread Wolf of Elven legend is a real person. But how does that implicate us? What made them decide that the Inquisition serves this Fen Harel? Hopefully, we will learn more after we have stopped them. Let's see the Exalted Council try to disband the Inquisition after we've saved them from this Dragon's Breath. We must find out what Dragon's Breath is first. For now, our only lead is the Canari leader, the Vidisala. Gentlemen! My apologies, Lady Josephine. There has been an incident with one of your soldiers. How dare you! It was bad enough that the Inquisition chose not to inform the Exalted Council of the Kunari Corpse. Orle would have been happy to help with the matter. But now your own guards are attacking servants? You have overstepped your bounds. Thank you for bringing this to my attention, gentlemen. I'll see to this personally. Thank you, Inquisitor. All I stands ready to assist the Inquisition. <laughs> this guy's nose is brown. Secrets and lies. Do you understand why we fear your Inquisition? You act as if you're the solution to every problem. How long before you drag us into another war? How long before Redcliffe needs saving again, huh? Ah, yeah, maybe you should go rethink having an opinion on anything. What's going on here? The Orlesians tried to get our people, Inquisitor. We've secured the area. This is the Winter Palace. You cannot simply seize control when one of your guards attacks a servant. The Inquisition is handling this. When some noble commits a crime of fashion, you can take over. <laughs> I only asked what he was doing. And when I refused to bow to the Inquisition's dogs, you attacked me. How would you like us to handle the situation, Inquisitor? That barrel there. Where did it come from? I was ordered to bring wine for the guests. You're lying. Your Inquisition soldiers are completely out of control. No, we're in control. Keep talking and you'll find yourself in chains. Oh man, this choice. So that looks like Gatlock, but I don't know for sure. It, so that guy could be bringing a bomb in here. Oh my gosh, I don't like these options. This is way too little information for either of these. Please take the servant into custody. Right away, your worship. Inquisitor? Ambassador Montelier will explain later. For now, please hold the servant for questioning. As you say, Inquisitor, Lord Cyril will hear about this. Inquisitor, I also found this by the barrel. I can't read the language. I know that big hat anywhere. Did you resolve the problem with the guard? The guard is the least of our problems. Someone smuggled Gatlock barrels into the Winter Palace. Smile, Inquisitor. There are many eyes upon us. At least now we know the true extent of the dragon's breath. You think the dragon's breath is these Gatlock barrels? Of course. A surprise attack, even through the Illuvians, would have met fierce resistance. But if everyone at the Exalted Council died in an explosion, the South would be rudderless, vulnerable to attack. This is what Corypheus should have done after the explosion at the Temple of Sacred Ashes. 
An attack. <laughs> I'm glad she wasn't advising Corifios. Breath of a dragon. <laughs> How are you still smiling? Years of training as a bard, Inquisitor. We cannot show weakness now. Enemies could be watching, or we can let them see this idle conversation between two friends. The guard who confronted the servant said she found this note near one of the barrels. It looks like canary writing. Let me see. I picked some up from the Iron Bull, though I'm told my accent is atrocious. These are orders for positioning the Gatlock in the palace. When duty has been performed, report to the Vidasala through the mirror marked by a bookcase. Mirror marked by a bookcase. I'm on my way. Good. While you do that, I will have agents locate the Gatlock barrels and remove them safely. I will also send word to my foreign contacts. We must see where else this dragon could strike. Um, can I... Is there a potion thing here? Cook's note. Yes, for our lady's sake, there was an official menu for the first day of a visit from the Inquisitor during an exalted council, but the paper was so old it fell apart in my hands. Our so famous sous chef needs to come out of her sulk because we are doing eggs a la Val Foret, and we will need enough creme sauce for tonight's course. The Council of Heralds and the Ferelden's are in a pretty fit after the Inquisitor abandoned the talks. Dinner must be tremendous or we'll hear about it. That was a bunch of XP. Armor. Where is a potion desk? There. That's what I need. Bees! Hmm. Not enough for B upgrades. Hard in high town. Uh, note on palace guests. Countess de Avori wants a stateroom set aside from three to five in the afternoon for her daughter's harp practice. Must have windows on one side and a balcony. If she proposes a recital, refer her to the Seneschal. Duke Pierrefini wants to entertain for Elden relatives a barrel of whiskey and three wheels of cheese to be delivered to his quarters this evening. Van Wharton, his bed should be made up with linens, not silks. Sir Litstone complains an old wound in her left leg is making itself felt. Move her to the ground floor. Lady Galette, a duelist, has requested a sparring partner and a suitable practice ground. Lord Gilderay to be woken at eight by a maid on even days, a page boy on odd days, don't ask, with a fresh pitcher of water and 12 sprigs of lavender on a perch-colored towel, don't ask. Carrying these items in silently without making eye contact with his lordship, placing them on the divan, clapping twice, then leaving without a word, do not ask. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I hate that this is bringing back stupid memories from when I worked at a hotel. Oh, man. Let's see. Uh, Trespasser, up here. Do you remember how the base game ended with Solus or not? Uh, there was a... Yeah, because we just finished it this morning. Like, the orb broke, and he was sad about it. And then he met Flymouth, and then Flymouth crumpled in his arms, and then his eyes glowed blue. And I thought Flymouth body hopped into him or something. <laughs> 